Have you ever wondered how to aquascape with a moss ball? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you this scape, which is using quite a few of them. What's going on, H2O Army? Justin from H2O Plants, back with another video having to do with the new fish tank room, and we are showcasing the new tank next to the existing tank that we already did a video on. So if you haven't seen the video on the setup of this tank, make sure you do check that out. But also there is this tank that is kind of a yin and a yang situ uh, situation here. This tank primarily features wood and lots of plants, where this tank features mainly uh, rock, or really only rock. And it's two different types of rocks between the two tanks. This one is using elephant skin stone, as well as aqua soil on the bottom for the substrate. Now, Kevin Kelly, he was the one that glued or kind of reef epoxied all these rocks together using reef epoxy actually to do this. Now, reef epoxy has about a six to 12 month shelf life for holding stones together, uh, especially with CO2 being injected into the tank. So long term, uh, the rocks may kind of shift a little bit, but overall I think it's a pretty sturdy structure. I don't think they're going anywhere. On top of that, we also used moss balls as a focal plant for the foreground here, as well as on top of some of the rocks and towards the background. Now, moss balls are an incredibly easy plant to grow, which makes them ideal for really any tank setup, but the problem is, is they're round shape and a lot of people get them and they don't know what to do with them. Well, basically you can break these apart, unravel them as such into a flat kind of uh, construct like that where they'll lay flat and then you can tuck them into corners, um, super glue them in spots or kind of just get creative with it. They're a really awesome easy plant to grow. Being that they're actually a type of algae, they are uh, awesome in aquascapes, uh, especially when you can utilize them for such. Because if you have enough of these, oops, <laughs> if you have enough of these, they will make a carpet kind of like you can lay them out and they'll essentially carve it out and they're super easy. They don't require much light. They don't require CO2. They don't really require much. They just do their thing. So that's what makes them super awesome. Now you can trim them like you would normal plants as a, uh, once this tank is ready for trimming, I'll show you that, but we're going to come in here and probably just trim them, trim them up, shape them a little bit more, kind of like hedges. If you would think about hedges outside, that's typically what we're going to do with this. Also, the other plants that I used was uh, Monte Carlo, or that Kevin used was Monte Carlo, and Pogachim, Pogachintaman uh, Gai, I'm going to butcher the name, but Pogo Gai is how I refer to it as. And it's a really pretty plant that looks like uh, seaweed almost. It has like this weird, um, like, it just looks like seaweed. I don't know how else to explain it, but it, it's very similar. Uh, but it's really cool. It's actually getting these brown colorations. And I think that's actually because of this light. Now this light is uh, super, super good so far. Um, these are the Asta 20s. I did show, show you that in the video for this tank, but this is the Asta 20 light. It's very similar and it's using the same filter, the Sun Sun. I'll leave links to all those down in the description if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Um, but this light, I haven't kind of uh, fully tested just yet. So I don't want to say, oh yes, it's the best light ever but it has impressed me thus far. So I'm very, very, uh, you know, ecstatic about it and I hope it does well. So overall, this escape was meant to be like a cave-like formation or like an arch with uh, just, you know, plants coming through the middle with moss balls as the focal point and that was really what we wanted to achieve and I think we did rather well with this tank. Oh, uh, and I don't think I mentioned what size tank this is, but it is the exact same dimensions as this one over here. It is a 12 by 12 by 12 tank. Overall, just a really simple tank to do. And I have to say, scaping these cube tanks is super easy. I, I did not think it was gonna be as easy as it was, but I'm used to scaping rectangle tanks, as many as uh, of you probably are, because that's what you normally would have. It's like a 20 gallon tank or a 10 gallon tank. That's a typical, you know, long tank rectangle. And these are so easy, it's, it's almost incredible. Uh, and, and I was worried about it in the beginning. I was thinking about, especially this one, I was, thinking, oh, this is going to be a bit tricky because it's not long. So I have to think of, you know, height and width in a, in a similar fashion. So it was just, it came together rather easily, this tank. And then Kevin put this together very neatly with the stone. And then I recommended to him, let's use moss balls for it. I think it would be really cool. So that's what we did. I'm really pleased with this tank, guys. Let me know what you think of the tanks. Um, if you think that it's cool if you'd like to see something what else should I do if I like should put anything in here I think um, you know we haven't decided on any livestock yet I still don't know if we're gonna do livestock but if I did do livestock what would you like to see in this tank 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the video. Make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you thought of the take setup and if you have any suggestions for it. If you're new here, consider subscribing by hitting the round icon there. You could also check out our website by clicking the box up top. And if you want to see how we set up this tank, the other 30C, you could click on the video up top. And if you want to know when you should plant aquarium plants, I'll include that down below here. And I'll see you guys on the next one.